Amara says, I signed up for a Microsoft 365 subscription for a month's free trial. Used my personal email address, which was an at Outlook dot com account it all went through when i went back to into my email a couple days after to cancel the subscription as it wasn't needed my billing and subscription section said here there was nothing there since october of 2022 i've received countless emails to pay the invoice when i try to access this account to take me to the payment page it tells me i can't use my personal email but that's the same email used to sign up for it initially uh, thought it was a hoax email at first, but I do remember signing up for it with the amount information. Can't get through to Microsoft customer service, directs you to online support, but it's useless. I don't want to be racking up a massive bill if it is legit. So uh, I wrote uh, kind of a mini book there on this one. Um, <laughs> I know. Tell, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I know, Sherry, you put in there, call MS support. Yeah, it's... The thing about it is, is that on the on the uh, at anything that has the re word free in front of it, Microsoft's not going to is going to you're going to you're going to be put at probably lower than the lowest queue available um, that or they could ever like find. It. Yeah, you'll be you'll be put in a pile that will get around yeah. to in you know uh, a year or so. Um, but the thing about this is, I, I I I there are more questions, right? Because we don't know the whole context. There is no such thing as a free trial for an individual. So I, I don't understand what they actually signed up for um, because 365 is free for individuals. Okay, so you can get a free 365 account. You don't have any features. I mean, you have just the basics, um, but there's no one month trial for individuals. Now there is a one month trial for family accounts, um, but there's nothing for an individual. So the I'm, I just I don't understand that, but you're going to have to get support involved either way, because when you sign up, uh, no matter what subscription you're going for, uh, when you sign up, it's actually creating an Azure Active Directory instance. OK, so it goes out there and the, when you're only in a free trial, it still creates that instance. Um, that's the back end of 365. So when it does that, it gives you what's called a control account. Right. So there's an automatic control account. You have to give it a name. You have to during the sign up process, you have to call it something. And it is your a name at and then a name you pick dot on Microsoft dot com. Um, and that control account is like a backdoor or a last ditch effort to get into your subscription in case none of your other accounts work. OK, um, so you should have gotten some emails from Microsoft right after you signed up. I mean, literally, it should have sent you an email saying, this is your login ID that you used, or this is your uh, subscription ID, this is your account ID, something that sh tells you that you actually got the subscription. And you need to find that email, okay? Because that's gonna have the information that you need to pass on to support. There's no, I, I don't see any way you're gonna solve this without getting MS support involved. And if that's, you know, you have to email them and get put into a queue, that's what's going to happen. But I can tell you uh, that I had an incident happen with a family member about the the same thing happened with a family, well, not the same thing, but uh, with a family member where they signed up for a 365 account, they canceled it a month later and they kept on getting emails saying they had to pay a bill. Well, eventually, you know, I looked into it and I could get into the account um, and was able to get in and look at it, and it it actually showed a zero balance, but the account still existed. So Microsoft just automatically sends out emails saying you owe money when you actually don't owe money. So yeah, I know. <clears throat> so I number one, I wouldn't worry about it too much, uh, as long as you can find the evidence that you actually signed up and you got those emails and that you've actually, you know, haven't done anything because. If you didn't enter enter any credit card information, um, then there's no way they can bill you. There's no way that they can actually, you know, do that. And if they uh, have, if you did sign up with credit card information or are refuting that, then you've got credit history to fight back to push back against. And you've right. paid money, and therefore they should respond yeah. faster than a free. It, it they should. Um, it's you have to find that information though. You have to you have to there. 
somehow they sent you something that said they always do um and you need to find that day that info and then mm -hmm. pass it on in a support because otherwise you're going to be waiting forever literally you'll be waiting forever to, and, you know, to get this resolved i don't know about everybody else like i don't waste my time calling in to microsoft support oh, even no. as mvps getting premium support and all that no, it's just no, it's no. a nightmare it's however a through email and and for other issues where i'm uh, that are rarer issues i'll actually go in and search and find where people have had similar issues and i'll file it I'll, I'll, I'll post it online in those discussions and i usually get people responding within an hour or so like yeah. it's, yeah. it's amazing how they do quick watch people a bunch respond. of channels i mean yeah. i've had a, i've had experience with the email support where i literally do an email i had a problem with one of my my uh, family accounts. So I sent it an email. It took them three days to get back to me. But when they actually got the ticket after those three days, it took like an hour to fix the problem. But it took them three days to get back to me. Yeah. Okay. So I, I get it. I'm mm -hmm. not at a very high queue. I understand it's not an urgent issue. Um, there's no way to escalate an issue. You know, there's they, they, they don't allow you to do that. Um, but you can also fill out the online form. Mm -hmm. So you can email Microsoft support, but you can also fill out this, you know, this online form yeah. um, that asks you for more information. And I think that's part of the issue is a lot of people don't provide a lot of information when they do support tickets. Um, it's indicative of a help desk, right? You know, they the help desk goes by a script and that's exactly what Microsoft help desk does. Believe it or not, every time you do support, they're going by a script. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they have that's to triage. They, yeah, they is, have to route it. it. Yeah. They have to. And they're looking for more information. They're looking for screenshots. They're looking for, you know, uh, error codes. Error messages. You know, error, yeah, yeah, error messages. They're look if you supply them with that, I guarantee you that you're gonna your your case is gonna move yeah. much faster than one that has mm -hmm. nothing in it. Version number, browser, and then the, the browser, whatever the version of the browser that you're on. Um yeah, tenant I mean, ID, I, tenant ID, well, all those things, whatever that you have, whatever information, all of that's going to help expedite. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I, I think um, also uh, I've had to deal with this for friends and family, too. Um, and I think uh, if you go to the partner page, you can also reach out to a partner. Sometimes a partner can get through in a, in a fa at least a faster way or give you great advice like Mike did. Right. So it, it's not even just so much about, you know, being able to do it, but sometimes they can help you at least navigate um, a little bit of the crazy. So, Mike, you're going to post your uh, address and phone number here? <laughs> I already did. I tweeted it out. So. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mike yeah. Nelson, gun for hire. Yeah, see. <laughs> He'll get you out of uh, like Microsoft need to do jail. Would be to He's going to help you exactly with all your feelings. You need to go. Oh, what's that? The phone number. I said, but it also might be nice to post where exactly you need to go to get to the right customer support area to fix what it is you need fixing. Oh, there is an awful long. There is there's there's just there's lots of support. And lots of it doesn't work. Well, so there's no where there's, to go to write that email or fill out that form. It's yeah, good. there's no dispute. There's no absolutely no dispute that the way that Microsoft support is implemented uh, in terms of what the general public sees, um, the first time user sees, it's confusing as hell to me. I mean, it really is. It's They don't know who to yeah. call. They don't know what to do. They don't know who to email. They don't know what form to fill out. They don't know, you know, I understand. It's, it's you know, they need to dumb it's it down. It's a mess. They need to, it is. And they need to dumb it down too, because they're asking for a lot of information that some folks just don't know what they're asking for. Yeah, exactly. um, especially when you're dealing with, directly with end users because remember companies were used to dealing with like it groups they're used to dealing with partners um but now they're dealing with individual you know individual folks that just have an m365 account you mm -hmm. know and uh they need to work walk walk through that at a at a at a pace that's indicative of the person that's on the other end you know and nobody wants to get calls from support anymore because everybody's afraid it's a, you know, it's going to be a phishing scam or a ransomware thing. So they're not going to answer the phone when they say, oh, I'm from Microsoft support. Your computer has viruses. That's why you can't get to your M365 account. So you need to give me your PayPal ID and, you know, deposit this amount and, you know, all that other kind of fun stuff. Yeah, you know, there's all kinds of things, but 
Microsoft needs to do a better job at this. No doubt, no doubt. But some folks, you got to step up and take, you got to take some responsibility and you got to be able to, you know, be able to provide the information in order to get it fixed. It's just finding the right place to provide that information too. Yeah, One of the is. worst things that I see out there from from my my trips through the from newsland is 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 if you have a problem with an outlook.com hotmail whatever account and they say and they and you get get flagged getting yourself unflagged is sometimes completely next to impossible uh, because there's no such thing as a person all there is is a form that goes to an automated system that always wants information that you don't have or wants more information than you do have. Granted, a lot of the stuff I see is people who have accounts with, hey, I had this account two years ago, ain't never been in it for the last, and, and I want to get, and it won't do it. Well, that's because it's gone. It's just, it's not there anymore. You yeah, really should Call it what ask. it is. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. And there's no way to get that back. It's just never going to happen. You need to, if you're going to open it, and that's that's a lot. People people will do that for their their Xbox accounts and game passes and things like hey. that. Hey, I set up my Xbox through this, and I don't even know where it is anymore. I don't remember the password. Yeah. Um, don't even get me started on the whole what account either. I mean, are you, yeah. are you saying yeah. little kids setting up game <laughs> accounts that turn into Microsoft accounts could potentially be a bad idea? What? That turn into work and school accounts that have the same, you know, have the same name well, as worse, a work you and school account? Your, right there, one Mike. of them removes one of your accounts <laughs> from, a, from, from an Xbox, and what that does is not remove the account, it kills the account. You well, gotta then be we have, careful with the Xbox. Then I have my, my family member that sets up a Gmail account and goes yeah. through GApps and gives it its own domain name, you know, fredsbicycles.com. You know, and then they go into Microsoft and they say, you know what, I want to create a new account called FredBicycles.com. So now they have two accounts, two separate accounts, one in G apps and one in Microsoft, and they have no idea which one to use because both of them are, you I'll know, maybe, stuff. yeah, one's got to <laughs> require, one requires a 12 character password. One, you can just put a period and that's good enough for a password and whatever. <laughs> It's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have changed the subject, I guess. But the thing of it is trying to find the right support, find to find the right support avenue for your problem. It's a lot easier if you're a big company. If you're a small company or a person, it can be such a nice mirror. And I really do wish they would straighten that out and yeah, give you some way of getting to the right place without spending two days searching through phone numbers and calling the wrong people all the time well they can bug they can bug christian who can you know he's an rd <laughs> i so i am can, happy to help so he can, just he can send post. just send me i need your social security number That's and right. credit card information and then <laughs> i'm happy to and help he'll just fix you help. right up yeah and he can he can post it to the, the distribution list the mvp distribution list like i see all the time like this case needs to be escalated i'm like oh come on Really? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's we used to call that a punt. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the ironic Hail thing Mary, is, at least. is yeah. you said that you know you post in a forum and you'll get answers more you know quickly. That's what they did. That's where we got the question yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. They're trying. They're That's trying to get somebody to help good, them. Good effort. Good yeah. effort. There, yeah. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.